Hello, and welcome to Aware and Ask self-directed training on the Nova Scotia Occupational Health and Safety Act. This is one of a series of mini modules that was designed specifically for the Joint Occupational Health and Safety Committee, part of their training, but is very valuable to any manager or employee as well. So this is mini module five. We'll be covering sections 34 to 40 of the act. So as you can see, this is um, Module 5, and we start off Module 5 with how to respond to a written recommendation. So a written recommendation is given to an employer either by a safety representative or by the Joint Occupational Health and Safety Committee. The employer must respond in writing to either the safety rep or the committee, depending on um, the size of the organization within 21 days. An employer um, may respond by indicating acceptance of the recommendations or giving reasons why the employer does not accept the recommendations or if it is not possible to provide a response before the ex expiration or the expiry of the 21 day period the employer will provide a reasonable explanation for the delay, indicating when the response will be ready and when, and then um, provide a response as soon as it's available. So one of the things, um, and this is usually situations where the, the employer and the employees on the committee usually try to work cooperatively to find solutions, but there are times in an organization, and it's not very often that there isn't an agreement between the committee or the committee agrees, but it needs to go further up the chain in the organization, and sometimes they need a formal request so that everybody clearly understands what the ask is of the committee. And the 21 days, sometimes when um, employers can't respond within 21 days is because maybe they have outside contractors or, or other information they need to be able to make an informed decision. So, and if the representative or the Josh committee is not satisfied with the explanation for the delay, the co-chair or the representative can then um, forward on their concerns to the Department of Labor. So when we talk about the employer's duties to provide certain information, so the employer will notify the committee or the safety rep of the existence of reports and if requests are made for reports to make available. So those are the workplace inspections and also any monitoring or testing that is done by the organization. Um, so any testing undertaken at the workplace by or at the request of an officer or the employer, these same reports can be made available to any employee at the workplace if they request it. Additionally, a procedure for the safety rep or the Josh committee or an employee to request copies of these reports is the same as making a recommendation. It must be done in writing following the same 21-day time frame uh, with receiving a response from the employer. The same conditions apply if a response from the employer is unsatisfied, unsatisfactory to the safety rep or the Josh committee or the employee. They will then contact the Department of Labor. What must the employer report? This is in regards to safety meetings. The employer must post and maintain a current, the current names of the Josh committee members or the safety rep and how to contact them. If the Josh committee is, if a Josh committee is present, then the minutes from the most recent meeting must be posted promptly and remain there until the meetings of the next minute, the next meeting minutes are posted. You must have a current copy of the act, a copy of uh, a code of practice that may be required or any regulations, the current number for reporting OH&S concerns to the Department of Labor, 
which is 1-800-9-LABOR. If an organization is required to have a policy, the OHNS policy, which is five employees or more, it must be posted. If anything else is required to be posted according to the Act or regulations, the person who is, um, has the duty to post shall post a legible copy in a prominent place for at least seven days or longer, um, if necessary, to enable employees to be informed. What information should be available? The employer will make available a copy of the regulations that are, re that are related to the workplace, information and reports that an officer believes would enable employees to become acquainted with their rights and responsibilities. If an officer writes an order, the employer must post the order and the complaint notice any notice of appeal or decisions, and a copy of any applicable documents must be provided to the safety rep or the JOSH committee. An officer shall provide an employee at a workplace um, with a report. So this is the duty of the officer to provide certain information, so if they come for a visit, workplace occupational health and safety inspection, and workplace occupational health and te testing and monitoring undertaken by the workplace um, or at the request of the officer, and the employer shall provide a copy of these documents to the rep or to the JOSH committee. Employees' rights to observe and to be paid. If the Josh, if the workplace OHS monitoring, sampling, testing, or measuring are to be done, the employer will permit an employee to observe such activities and be paid for the time. However, there are circumstances where the employee could not be present, such as um, regular or continuous testing or improvement is completed, a situation which will violate the um, employee's personal privacy in a location that is remote or during an emergency situation. Refer to the Act for more details on the um, requirements and restrictions. We have now completed Mini Module 5. Complete the post assessment, fill out your registration form, and submit. Remember, if you get a try again, that means you've gotten one or more of the answers incorrect. You need to redo the test and resubmit. Thank you.